with the buy? How much do those extra two, three days help you? Well, it can work for you or work against you, mm -hmm. you know, on how you manage it. Same with the players. So, uh, so you've been on part of teams that come off a of bye week and they're in really great shape, ready, they're ripping, they're roaring, they have a great game. And I've been off bye weeks where we've done the exact opposite. So hopefully we do a good job as coaches and our players do a good job of managing the right way. You never really know until you go play. I'm not sure what Floyd's status is quite yet for this week, but just if you're able to kind of get another guy back in that mix, how much could that help you? Yeah, we need all the depth we can muster because mm -hmm. we're thin across the board. Definitely. How's Rashad looking out there today? I mean, he's, he's not where he needs to be. You know, he's just starting. He's just starting to go back. So. You've obviously been to South Carolina a few times. I mean, a lot of people say it's, it's one of the more kind of underrated atmosphere, game day places to play. What do you think about playing games there? You know, I think every SEC stadium is, is a difficult place to play. Mm -hmm. uh, most of the difficulty comes in the team that plays. And, uh, you know, the better the team is, the more engaged the fans are, the tougher it gets on, on you. So uh, it's a really good football team. And uh, it's a really supportive fan base. And, you know, we got our hands full. Yeah, you know, Will Will, what can you expect from the defense that comes under his leadership? Yeah. yeah, Will's a good friend of mine. And uh, we worked together for about five years. And, you know, he's a great football coach, great motivator. You're always going to have great scheme. Uh, if you happen to get him on one play, he's going to get you on the next one. Uh, they're going to play hard, they have talent, you know, so. His defenses are always really tough to go against. Um, so it's going to be a big challenge for our guys. And watching film, what do they do especially well? Well, it starts with their defensive line. You know, they got as good a defensive line as anybody in the country. Very disruptive. They can really wreck a game. And, uh, so if we if we lose the line of scrimmage, it doesn't matter what you call it. You know, run, pass, play action, it doesn't matter. Um, so that's going to be line oh, yeah, one for us. We're going to have to win the line of scrimmage if we don't. We're going to have a tough day. Derek, some of the players have been using the phrase fighter, forget it, drive on. That's one of your philosophies. Yeah. Like, has that been with you your entire coach career? Does that come up at a certain stop? Well, it just, it just, it really sort of emphasizes whether you have a good play or a bad play, a good game or a bad game, a good day or a bad day. Uh, the important thing is to get your eyes forward on what you're doing now. You know, Coach Odom says, right here, right now. And it's hard for players to do that. Um, so you can have a bad play, and if you're starting to think about what happened on that play and you're not worried about the next play, you're going to have a bad two plays. And so the idea is you forget about it and you drive on. And it doesn't mean you forget about it for good. You learn from it, right? But in that moment in time, we need to move on and uh, let's have a good play the next play. Kentucky's offense seemed to slow down a little bit in the second half of their game. Is Coach Muschamp the kind of guy that makes those second half adjustments on defense frequently? Yeah, I don't think they slow down. I mean. I mean, it's just a production, sorry. You know, South Carolina, if you really look at the game, for three quarters, they dominated the football game. They had a spurt there in the second quarter where they got on their heels, and Kentucky did some good things offensively. Uh, but for the most part, you know, it was tough sled out there. Um, and, you know, they didn't score another point on in the second half. Either. I mean, South Carolina's a really good defense. And, um, you know, like I said, if, if you're having problems up front, it makes everything else very difficult. Derek, going back to the Georgia game, when when teams play two deep safeties like that, how much does that open up for Albert and, and Jonathan in the middle of the field? Well, there's a lot of different variations of two deep safeties. Um, you know, some safeties when they're in a two deep shell are more active than others. Um, the theory is you should have good numbers running the football. And, um, you know, when teams play shell, uh, there's a theory that you should be able to run the ball well. And it's a little harder to get big plays. And, you know, Georgia was, I'm sure, hell-bent on making sure we didn't have a lot of explosive plays. And when they're going to play like that, you have to have a level of patience and a level of discipline to work the ball down the field. Derek, what was the most impressive kind of thing to you about Tyler Beatty during camp as he kind of worked his way into normal playing time? Oh yeah, he's he's gotten better every week, and you know he's got a lot of good tools. Uh, he's got a 
you know, he's, he's a good change of pace from our other two backs. So, you know, as long as he keeps producing, we're going to keep finding roles for him. Is this kind of poise in, in big moments, you know, specifically yeah, speaking of the does, pretty game? Yeah, he does have a real calm about him. He's just, a, I, I, you know, to me, he's a natural. That's what I like to call guys like that. Football makes sense to him. Um, it's not too big for him. He's just a natural. And, uh, you know, the more naturals you have on your team, they're, they're, those guys are a lot easier to coach because you don't have to explain everything to them. They can just go out there and they do something. And it's the right thing. Right? Okay, do that do that deal you did. <laughs> Again, you know, those guys are fun to coach. Is that why he's uh, you know, on the field at the end and you know, on your guys' most important drives against Purdue, against Georgia? Well, it's a level of trust, you know. He, and you know, he, he, made, he made some plays for us in, in critical moments already. So, um, you know, we'll, as long as he keeps doing that, we're going to keep giving him those opportunities. Is the plan going into the season to kind of split carries between Crockett and Rashery and then work him in as you see fit, or was it just kind of ride the hot hand and kind of see how things go? Well, you always kind of start with what you think, but each week your opinions uh, change. And it's important as coaches to be real objective in your evaluation of our players, you know, uh, based on what your eyes tell you, not what you think. And so it's it's we're really doing we're not really upholding our professional integrity if we don't look at the film and play the guys that are playing the best and giving us the best chance in our opinion to to win. Now we're not always right in our evaluations, um, but that's our responsibility. It's what I tell the old guys and tell the young guys. It's not personal. We're going to play the guys that we think are going to be most productive for us, and if guys can help us win, we're going to try to find roles for them, and that's sort of my promise to the guys on the offense. And I tell them, if you don't like your role, then play that. I don't know any other way to say it. Play that. The running game has been couple getting better please. the last couple weeks. I know South Carolina has struggled a little bit against the run. Uh, do, you guys, do you think that's, you know, the running game is a matchup you guys could maybe have favorably? Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't ever really know. I don't, I don't go in saying we got a favorable matchup. I, I just feel like every game we go into, it's going to be a, 18 round boxing match and it's going to be hard all right they're going to knock us around a little bit hopefully we'll knock them around a little bit and we'll see who kind of stands standing there over time and um, you know it's something we got to keep getting better at playing more physical finishing and uh, exercising a level of stamina that's going to maintain that for four quarters and if we don't do that saturday we're going to get our tails whipped if we do do that we'll have a chance to win in the fourth quarter you only get one bye week a year. How did you uh, spend your Saturday off, Coach? Well, we were recruiting, you know, so recruiting a little bit, watch a little football, watch a little South Carolina, you know. So 